data is that all-important conversation that all school buildings are have. And oftentimes teachers are afraid of data in a way that intimidates them when it comes to reporting. We want to approach data in a relaxed way in which teachers understand what the reporting tools are and what they can tell and how it can inform their instruction. That is the critical place in which we use data. It's going to inform a teacher's instruction so that they are able to decide on interventions, decide on differentiation, and decide on reteaching. So when we look at the reporting portion as teachers are starting to examine data in our data-driven module, what happens is that teachers want to understand how am I going to use the data? How will it drive my instruction? How will it drive my whole group instruction? What will I do in my small group instruction? And so when you're using the reports, the heart of the work and the heart of the instruction that teachers must deliver lies within the reports. So they're able to see students A or student B didn't perform well on certain items within the test bank. And then how do I redirect my instruction to make sure this, that the student has reached mastery there? And so when we look at another phase of our reporting dynamic, we look at growth versus proficiency. And so one of the ways to do that is there's a growth report and there's one on mastery. When a teacher looks at growth, it is the percentage in which a student is close to meeting a standard but may not be there. And so in filling that gap, that drives the instruction on this is the exact point in which a teacher can start instruction to fill that gap. When a student has met mastery, the teacher can move that student along and accelerate and compact the curriculum so that a student isn't reviewing something that he already knows.